Let's graph the linear equation x minus 2y equals 3, and we'll use slope-intercept form to do that. So when we start out, we want to get y by itself. Let's subtract x from both sides. That'll give us... But let's put the negative x first so it's more like slope-intercept form. So now to get y by itself, we'll divide both sides by negative 2. So negative 2 divided by negative 2, that's just 1. So we have 1y, one call that y. Negative x, negative x over 2 is just x over 2, since the negatives cancel out. And then we have 3 over negative 2, so negative 3 over 2, like that there. So this is in slope-intercept form, a lot easier to graph. Our y-intercept, that's where we cross the y-axis here, negative 3 over 2 which is just negative one and a half. So we're gonna go down one and a half on the y-axis. That's our y-intercept. For our slope here, what we could do is we could call this one x over two. It's still x over two, it's just we put a one there because now we can call this rise over run. So we're gonna to go to our y-intercept here. We're gonna rise one and then run two. So we rise one and we go one, two to the right. We can do that again. We can rise one and go one, two to the right. You can see our line there. Let's put a line through that. And then we'll put arrows, show that it goes to infinity. And this is the graph for x minus two y equals three. We have a slope of one over two, one half, and our y-intercept is negative three over two, or negative one and one half. If you were to use a table of values to do this, you would get the same graph. This is Dr. V graphing x minus 2y equals 3. Thanks for watching.